Well, that's what happens when, if you're playing the reds, you're not looking to put any pressure on until quad, you have to, you know, really make it count, and they did. Go up or down at the mega health position, looks like he's got an idea of when it's up. He does manage to grab it as well, he was under pressure by the DX players, they were trying to grab it. In fact, XT have moved to the bridge area, reds up! Which you'd expect them to have known the time. I'm going to cycle around and have a look where DX are. Well, two, well, all of them underground there. Moving up to yeah. the upper yellow position. Really cautious themselves. Yeah, and they need to be careful because you know, XT have just taken this red. They've just taken Mega with Gerpa as well. So can not be missing out on too many of these items. Because unlike you know, XT who were stacked, ready to attack the quad, they could find themselves you know, well under armoured. Yeah, Nuba Killer attacking this Mega. He does manage to steal it away there. Does a good amount of damage as well. In fact, takes out Demaya. Avex hitting another rocket as well. But Wit did get the frag on them, and Zix just equalizes the frag count between the two teams. But nobody really gained anything out of that. DX moving into the quad area now, 35 seconds before the power up spawns. A good time to move in, actually, and they seem to have taken a lot away from X2. Utilizing that machine gun really effectively on the bounce pad there. Don't often see players thinking about it. Yeah, that. considering he had a rail gun as well. You know, there was, a, there was always the chance that Maya might hit a rocket on him and he would have regretted not using the rail. Got to be careful in this position, and he is. He takes out FRS. The yellow was up. Decides he doesn't want to grab it, does he? Well, I think he was trying to save it for the quad, but he's going to have missed out on that one. Avic with the nice quad in hand. Around the corner. Nice little jump. Move through. Going to take this red armor. Got to be careful. The grenade. <laughs> Just backing off last second. See, Avic's reaction time is so fast compared to most players we watch. Xavier so did a fairly decent job of evading them, evading him with his quad though. Although bad time to come into the quad, you have to say. All of them Good have work, come, and Albert. that's. That was their plan, I guess, just all of an attack at the same time and... Yeah, it did work out. I mean, they could have really been punished there if Avic had hit his shots. He only had you know, 50 ammo with the LG, I think that was the issue for him. Yeah, I mean, he could have taken out three or even four of them, potentially, and that would have been a really bad attack. As it is, though, DX still sit 20 frags in the lead. I mean, we're over halfway into this game now, and position XT don't often find themselves in on this map. I mean, Gerpa there moving around the edges of the map, moving back to this red armor. It's going to be up in five seconds. He did pick up the yellow, so he didn't necessarily need armor, but it might be weird. They really need all these reds now, and they need to make them count as well. I think they've given away more than they usually would when playing this side of the map. Good rail by Gerpa. Goes for the second shot there. It was risky, but could have paid off. His teammate misses the jump. You know, while the bridge was clear, it would have been good for his teammate to get in then and look to do more damage. That diving rail shot. Kind of shot we've seen a lot over the years of this map. Yeah, quite hard to make a shot consistently. Well, it's so well known about as well, like players shouldn't be vulnerable to it particularly, although obviously they're watching that gap before it's going to be. Look at this attack. Gerpa's in a really great position. It's a little bit too late though. Oh my god, he hits that rail. I think it was a double rail, wasn't it? Oh, he didn't get the impressive, it can't be, but. Six isn't looking too strong. No help. Wait around for that upper yellow. It has just spawned as he moved away. Gotta be careful. So lucky there that Demaya's rocket did not kill him. So close, and this is gonna be one of those quads where he's just have to take his time. Might get a frag right at the end of it. He's not yeah, gonna he get too to much. Accept, you're not gonna get many or any frags. Okay. There's one, but I mean, he just couldn't with the health he had. It's better that he stays alive and is just in the minds of the other team rather than, you know, just rushing to his death and then potentially, you know, having killed the quad, then XT would look to do something. Nice rail from Zix. Right through this gap here, pretty traditional angle as well. Yeah, important that you have people who can sit in positions like that and hit those rails because, you know, the effectiveness of the quad and the rail area is, you know, it's not much if you're not hitting rails like Zix just did then, because, you, you know, you really need to negate that red armour 
There's Alpha Amigo. Gets in behind. Didn't actually see that Gerpa. He was trying to go a little bit aggressive on that quad area. It might have been a great position, Alpha Amigo, to get another frag here underground, although he might be ambushed, actually. Boxed himself in. He's going to get that lower yellow. 87 armor on the board. Because that FRS. Well, I don't know why. He why well, he didn't, just didn't connect with his rockets well enough there. 20 seconds before the quad and Alpha Amiga stack's gone. A cycle round to Avec, who's just been taken out. We're on Demaya's point of view then as a result. Five minute warning. Oh, they've only got three more power-ups left. Next is in a few seconds time. Three seconds to go. Demaya's not going to make it there. Neither's Whip. Nuba Killer grabs it. Got to be careful. Doesn't get ambushed oh around this God. corner. Oh my God. <laughs> Amazing first rocket from Whip. Uh, Lucky Nuba Killer was stacked. I mean, went around with a rail as well, even giving away your position even more because of the hum. So, a little bit rash by Nuba Killer makes his way around into this. What Look, the another hell? great rocket. Oh my god, almost gets round. Jumps! What? <laughs> I don't want to be too critical there, Vor, but that was pretty bad. It wasn't ideal, was it? No, not at all. Seems to be just a little bit rash with his power-up runs. Getting a bit too excited, maybe. Yeah, I mean, the first incident with Whip, with his direct rocket, you know, that was a kind of a warning, but then he just happened again at the red, although I think the rocket at the red is a hell of a lot more lucky. Yeah. It was seeing the rail player, though, and then jumping to make it an easy shot that just... surprised me. Anyway. We do have two quads left on the map, so it's unlikely still to come back at this stage, you know, 30 odd frags, but with yeah, two I mean, quads, maybe. Certainly not a vintage XT performance on their home map, is it? But, you know, I have to say, DX, they're, they're playing extremely well. They're doing so much better on power ups, it's unbelievable almost. I mean, 6 to 2, but the time difference is 2 minutes 20 to 31 seconds. The power up time. It's not like XT at all. It could add up so much as well to, towards the frag count. I mean, that could just be the difference, pretty much. What are the other stats like? Just to be moving to this quad. 23 to 12 on the reds. They're ahead on the yellows as well. Mega 17 yeah. to 10. I mean, that's the equalizer in terms of the reds, but they've had more of the items effectively, XT as well. Well, I think there's similar amounts, haven't they? But you'd say as well, Avex yeah. has had a great game. Quad eliminated He's, straight away. Yeah, Avex's really been a big difference so far. I mean, we don't always know how active Avex's been or how well he's going to play, but we always know he's capable of amazing performances, and today it looks like he's really ready to play well. Yeah, when we see his stats, it's kind of ridiculous. He's going to get taken out by FRS there, though. I mean, he's got 48 machine gun. <laughs> it's not often you see people hit that. If we're just spamming his rockets, trying to secure out that corridor, this map is definitely over now, Vor. Yeah. I mean, there's no pace to the game either to bring those kind of frags back, so it's actually quite a large margin, isn't it? This is. At this kind of pace, it's more equivalent to a 60 frag game on the kind of normal pace that we'd see on a lot of maps. Yeah, exactly. Very low scoring. But you know, you know, XT. I don't think they did that much wrong. They did a lot of the right things. I mean, we saw them earlier in the game where there was that period of time where they were just stacking up the reds. They weren't wasting the armor, and then brilliant attack on the quad, and they they looked like at that point they could start turning the game around, but. The DX have just played so well. Moving in 30 seconds time, this final power up of this first map. This is Zentorium's map pick as well. So they won't be feeling that good about it, but the next map, Grim Dungeons, does give them a great opportunity to bring it back. Because again, you could play a very slow paced game, which presumably suits them. One Maybe, but I don't think. DM14 is usually a great map for X2. A few seconds to go. Watch this bounce pad. Demaya with his railgun is going to have to hit his shots. If they do come up there, well, they don't. Gerpa was actually baiting them slightly, not picking up the quad straight away. Going to try and rush this quad area. That was an important. Wow. A rocket. 
saved his life and Quad might have to think twice about moving in and he does. Yeah. I mean, it's a good move by FRS to go in ahead and take that. Yeah, it was. It's damage. perfect, but that rocket just cut Gerpa off, and that means FRS had sacrificed himself. And Gerpa wow. was able to. Wow. <laughs> Avix LG today. You didn't want to go up against that, even with Quad. Look at that 42% overall. That kind of stat, I mean. 59 rail, 48 machine gun. Very high stats, especially when you're thinking about the level they're playing at here. These are two of the absolute top teams. Sure, and look at Avic. I mean, dominant on the scoreboard there. Almost 8k damage, best net. No one come close to his damage, especially on the XT team. God, yeah, look how low they were. On well, this is normally damage. what we see XT do to other teams. It's very rare to see it happen to them. So yeah, while we wait for the map to load, please follow us on this channel on Twitch. You can all see the follow button. Go on, click it. Twitter.com at LevelUpTV. Facebook like us slash LevelUpTV. And YouTube, subscribe to us slash LevelUpTV. Do all of those things. Immediately. Please. So, let's go into the second map. Welcome back to Level Up TV for Zentorium versus Dioxide in the ESL Activity Matters Cup Series 2. First round match, so pretty. You can tell how good the teams are in this tournament if this is the first match. Yeah, XL exactly. DX. I mean, two teams you could potentially say could win the cup. It's the kind of quality we got across the field today. Let's have a look at the lineups again. No changes. FRS, Demaya, Witt, and Gerpa. Zix, Nubikula, Alpha, Omega, and Avex, XT, and then DX. In Grim Dungeons, this is uh, DX's map pick. And Poland and Polish players have always loved this map. Especially the way they play it is quite different, perhaps, traditionally to the way this map is played. Very aggressive. See if they employ that kind of style on here, but well, I think Avic will look to go aggressive any opportunity he gets on this map, and we've seen him take teams apart on this map. If he's if his team holds red and he gets a chance to go to that LG yellow, then you've got to be looking out for that. Well, Nuba Killer got on the rail spawn, and he did hit his two shots on Gerpa there as well, taking him out straight away. So DX have got control of this red room to start off with. Let's cycle round. Yeah, XT aren't going to even think about coming back to this red. They've already got, you know, lightning gun and they've got FRS stacked ready for quads. So, you know, they're not looking in a too bad a position for these first set of power-ups. So let's follow FRS as this quad's about to spawn in a couple of seconds' time. Here it is. Battle suits delayed. Are they trying to do that? FRS messes up. Oh my god, what the hell? What? The, that was a rocket from his teammate. It must have been. What on earth happened there? <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, Battlesuit is eliminated and FRS has full a free map to run around. He even picks up the red on route. He has a shaft out. Only 33 You're ammo. He's going to head out of this room. I'm expecting he should. Got to be careful he doesn't run out of ammo there. Almost did. Only four ammo left on that one. Quad does run down. Yeah, he's got someone to deal with in this red as well. I mean, look, look how wow. quickly the, the rest of his team. Oh my god, Avic rips him to shreds Unbelievable. there. Unbelievable. I'm amazed that FRS. I mean, did his teammates die in there? Well, Whip was killed and Gerber was killed as well, but were they killed in the red or have they tried to push out? I'm not sure. I don't know what happened there, but Avec has moved out and taken control of this upper yellow. This is the oh thing <laughs> that they would fear. And of course, he and had a time in the LG. He had the yellow time because he picked He's up being that. Called back. He's called back to help his teammates out, dealing with this threat at the red. Great little dodging, forcing the rail shot, not going to be hit by it. Pulls out the shaft. Blocking off this rail doorway now. Red was up, Nubikilo grabbing it right in front of Avec. Look at the rocket play as well. F 
I mean, sorry, XT rushing in there. Trying to win it back. So it looks like they might be trying to play quite an aggressive game on this road. Yeah, they've done well to defend this time as well. I don't think a single player went down for them, although, wow, two all of a sudden are dead. Three all of a sudden killed. Wow, I thought they'd come away the victors, but apparently not. Nubi killer hitting 58% rail, does have a rail in hand. Wow, it's impressive. Some nice rails. Red armor picked as well. He's going to push through to this upper yellow straight away. Oh my god, FRS is going to catch him out so... so look, he's got a teammate. Oh my god, the teammate saves him completely and he comes out on top of that one. Should have died so easily. close to losing that quad. Yeah, they did just turn up at the right moment though. Whipped with a railgun and the right, this captain time, hand. Havoc is not killed by his teammates with the suit. There's red armor as well. Gonna switch back to quad though. He does just rail that battle suit as we switch to him. He oh, has second rail, did he? What the hell? Couldn't even see the battle suit on his screen, I think. Then, Havex just the ripped to shreds. Amazing play by Whip. That's a really great run by Whip. They just need to secure out these doors, not let DX get in here. None of them are particularly well positioned to defend this room, though. Now they have to be careful of the counter attack, and we often expect DX to play you know, aggressively on the red, so there's always the. There's always that thought in the mind of XT that there could be an attack any moment. FRS with that red armor, he's sitting, just camping at this doorway, trying to get the ambush kill on any kind of push through to the shotgun route. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, though. I'm going to cycle around. Well, Zix is there. Oh, God, he just looks away as he almost got the ambush rocket shot in there. He wants his rail gun. Just to be careful, there's a player aiming at him there, but that player can't spend all day there. It's my getting caught out again there, a bit, a bit strange, but. Let's cycle back. Nuba Killer does have 90 armor up at the quad. It's 30 seconds to go until that spawns. Alpha Omega, only 45 health, hasn't got anything but a rail. Avec just cratering as we come to him. straight away off the bat 15 seconds before the quad spawns and cycle uh, around to someone in that area Nubica looks like he's the guy stacking up for this power up 5 seconds to go until that spawns basically in great shape for it if he doesn't take a rail from that doorway which is something he seems Whoa. worried about there's FRS oh, great. Great rail. Demaya takes the bow to him. that's actually a really nice rocket jump off the player as well does the damage and survives so often you see him just fall into the void there. He was actually trying to find if the god was coming through that doorway. He didn't, and so he's had to back off. And it is come through. Oh my god, he's looking pretty he's down. now. God is down. Wow. What going down? Didn't know where it took the damage from then. Nor do I, but good team effort. It must have been, because it wasn't from Demaya. Six health as that power up runs out, and although he looks strong even with six health, suddenly he's worth nothing. As the battle suit expires, following Gerpa now in this red room, just surviving out on this edge by the 50 help of that was just taken a little bit ago, so 35 seconds till that arts up again. It seems like uh, both teams are still trying to fight over this red. Yeah, but it's XT coming out on top at the moment, like Demire's just taking so much damage from Avic's railgun from just above the rail position. Yeah, and it looks like DX are once again in control of Red, but, you know, XT have done well so far with their control of Red because they had much the worse start, but they've really turned the game round and made it close again. Although, actually, just as I said that, weren't the teams tied all but a second or two ago? Yeah. All of a sudden, it's eight frags of the difference. We are following Avec, and you can see exactly why when he's hitting 100% rail. There you go, another shot for Avec. On his trophy board of rail shots. Oh, he's missing loads now. No, that's pretty good. Rock is taking him out as well. Wit does eventually get eliminated. We've got 10 seconds to go until the quad. Looks like they are in position for it. I'm going to cycle around DX player, see if anybody's got anything. Well, Avec has, and he's surely going to have to wait for this battle suit, although they're not in a good defensive position for that one. They could get caught out if they're not careful. Avec taking the long route round. And in fact, yeah, it is a double power. FRS does go down, so Demire's free on the map with this power up. You could just tell by the positions of DX, they had no idea if anything was going on underground. Almost a good ambush by Avec. Wow, the grenade does actually hit Demire. He's looking a little bit. 
vulnerable. Yeah, here's the dilemma now. He's been weakened so much, but you know, he needs to move out and look for frags. Here we go, machine gun. Too. Wow. It's close to causing him serious trouble, but look at the timing of that yellow. The shards, even, even the 50 health. might even stay for the next health. LG. I mean, I can't imagine there's a major counter-attack on red yet. Well, actually, to say that, I wish we had split pods. Yeah, I mean, I don't. You wonder how that can happen when he basically killed everybody on the. DLC. Yeah, he did, didn't he? They must have been so lucky, DX, with spawns and weaponry being available from the lower area because you know, he saw them. I he picked up quite a few kills. He did literally kill all of them. So anyway, D XT do take this room back. Probably in a pretty decent position to defend it. Teams are tired as well, following Zix at the moment, does have a shaft in hand, not hitting unearthly accuracy there, but pretty solid 32%. Red leads. Gonna wait around these yellows now, I think. Slow the pace down a little bit. Avec the only guy with armor on the DX team. Apart from I think Zix now to just pick up that yellow. Cycle back to uh, the XT side of the map. Wit just waiting on this rocket launcher. Maybe the red Gerpa does have the red at the moment. Is he going to push on this rail position? No, not quite yet. Don't think either player is going to push there. They have to be pretty aggressive if they do. Alpha Omega takes that rail shot. And Avex sitting in a really nice ambush shot. spot right now. We have to see if XT have got this sussed though. You can see from Nuba Killer trying to draw them in as well. While Zix picks up the quad. Wit with the battle suit. There's the quad coming through. I don't think we're his rocket, so quad should still be. only got health. 17 health. Oh. So eliminated pretty easily the, the quad there. Yeah, Whit. I couldn't tell if we hit his rocket or not as the quad came in. I, I think didn't he get did, a yeah. It's weird. So Wit with the battle suit just standing in the back of the room and he's sort of wasting it here. You really need to try and get in those doorways, get in tight positions and really pressure away your opponents with that battlesuit advantage. Otherwise, just not really giving you anything extra, but he is at the back of the room with this railgun, does hit his shots. He was actually in 53% rail. And XT have just taken the lead in this last minute or so. Yeah, they've been really uh, doing a great job of keeping this red under control. I mean, we saw earlier in the game that the red was heavily contested with DX often coming out on top, but since then it's been... Pretty much all XT on this red armor. Again, I mean, it's slowed down quite a lot now, the game, even though they both want control. Look at that rail from Avic. Takes him on the drop. Again, another free rail there. They know he's there. Why would you run up those steps like that? Avic just having three shots here. I think they're a little bit worried about pushing Yeah, they on finally him. deal with him, but not before he'd done you know, a fair amount of damage from that position. For this oh, wow. push by FRS takes out Havoc. He is stacked, so he could, if he'd connected with Zix, would have killed him as well. That was so clutch that Zix survived that. Because that was FRS potentially, and XT in on this quad area. Gerfer is pressuring a little bit with the rockets. And Zix tried to push through. It's only a one frag margin. We've got five seconds to go in before quad. Getting more and more important, these power of runs into how they affect the score and control of the map. Nobody wants to take it there. Well, it's the end of the suit. Couldn't tell what the hell happened there, but obviously it was quite a good attack on in the XT position. Two XT players up the bounce pad, easily eliminated. Nubicola moving around with this power up. Going to take this oh, bounce risky, pad. Risky, risky. You could hear the there's a sharp player, there. yeah. Look, there he is. Catches him in the back. Wit, look how much damage he did. And that wasn't up a bounce pad, so... Took the risk and it did pay off on that occasion. Oh, FRS knocks him off and look, he's only got three health. Yeah, so well dealt with maybe by XT. We didn't lose many frags from that solo power up, but we're not in a great position now. Yeah, you gotta wonder what happened out of the battle suit. We didn't quite see it. We just saw the I'm not sure. It off. might have even been stolen and then knocked off by XT. I I'm not 100% sure though. So XT holding this quad side of the map, although not very effectively. Nubikiller coming in, they're confiscating that railgun FRS head and the yellow armor in the lower area. And he knows the time on it now. So he can always push through. Again, for the next pickup, red is up. Does Nubikiller want that as well? 
let Avec take it. Avec's playing so well today. Alpha Amiga 100 armor. Avec didn't take it. He has just got. Uh... Going back to that battle, so it was picked up by XT, but yeah, somehow it was knocked in the void. So got to make sure that doesn't happen again. All these power ups now are going to be so important until the end of the game. Following Demaya in this rail area. 20 seconds until the power up spawn. Bowser is just slightly ahead of Quad. Yeah, no time difference enough to make a difference really at the moment. We do need to clear Demire out of this area. He's such a threat. He does get a great frag there with the rocket. It was a really nice rail by Nubikiller, but I don't know. Maybe put himself in too aggressive a position. Here we go, Avec. That was an important rail to hit there. Gerpa with... Uh, the quad of XT and he's pretty stacked as well. Let's switch around to Avic. He's tanked to the brim as well. There's the quad. Just backs off. Avic getting distracted. It's going to come out on top easily there though. Yeah, Gerpa was reluctant to push into the uh, red armor room. I, mean, I know you have to be cautious to some extent, but it just meant he was fighting suit in a position that really usually favors a suit. I think he was waiting for teammates to get in ahead of him first, but it was almost like he'd already crossed over the danger zone the way yeah, he needed already to go in ahead. Yeah, he the ambush points were pretty much clear. It was a strange one considering his armor stack as well. He could have made it right into this room and made it difficult for the battle suit to get to him, but... It's kind of cost them that. I mean, that's just a, a power-up that didn't really get anything. Rushing Hulk's in here, Avec almost, almost grabbing that red there. FRS does come out on top. He's only got 10 health though, so he's going to be eliminated pretty quick, sharpish by Alpha Omega. Remember, X, you do need to win this map to take it to a third to stay in the tournament. It was a great first rocket by Alpha Omega that crippled two players, and that's, all of a sudden it's not looking so good for XT, is it? I mean. They kept DX out of that red armor room for a while, but now it's full control of the red armor again for DX. Yeah, it's almost 20 frags now, for, which is again the biggest margin we've seen on this map. This kind of this speed, the tempo that this game's going at, it's just so slow. We can't see massive frag turnarounds. We've got 10 seconds to go until the quad. And the battle suit spawn. That's going to be the key items that will give XT a chance. Alpha Omega's doing a load of damage there for pretty much no no real gain from XT. Avec leaving it for Nubikula on that occasion, taking the rail route. Rail was up. Decides to just leave. Interesting, right? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Great first rocket. He's actually run out of rockets, though. Goes. Unbelievable. Steals that, that lower yellow. And he gets the frag on Gerpa. I mean, XT must be fuming at that I mean, one. I mean, I don't know what happened at Quad. That might have even been a call from a teammate that Quad's gone low, but... Well, it just seemed like predicted, didn't he? he couldn't, it couldn't have been a call, but I mean... I don't know. That's what I said. It couldn't have been, because he caught him just as he dropped down. He was just entering that area. So, I mean, that was just really great play. Unbelievable. Great frag, and it's just... Plays it's... like that, I mean, that's what wins games. And all of a sudden, we've only got two sets of power-ups left, and it's different, man. It's unlikely. Yeah, I mean, I can't see it happening there. It's Thirty odd frags again. It's the same kind of difference as what this stage in the previous map. DX don't look like they're going to drop and fall apart. That kind of amount of frags. I mean, you don't see world-class players like Avic just throwing a game away at this stage like this so I think it's all over for XT at this stage of all unless it we is, see some kind of miracle comeback I know you have to say maybe it's unfortunate for XT to come up against DX in this first round but you know, it's a very strong field of teams so you're not at your best and this is what happens switch round to Avex 67% rail he's hitting for these are the kind of stats that you might see a good player hit on a public server against noobs. Not in a top level TDM game, that's for sure. It's a rare occurrence. Here's Avec. Wow, Wit just... What was that? <laughs> Seemed pretty desperate to get that battle suit, but I think he thought he was in the void. I think Avec went down there. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. Gerpa's the only one on the map with the power-up. Really good counter, and Gerpa has to pull out 
the world's best ever quad runner. Well, he's, he's looking at needing seven or eight frags at least. There's two. Wow, look, there could be another couple here. If he gets lucky, there you go, two frags. They just wanted to die to him there. They want this comeback to happen. Well, he's got five, five frags. He gets the red armor on route. One or two more if he's lucky. Move out to the LG. He's going to just have to push, really. Be aggressive here. Wow, could get a couple. Oh, it's a well, he did lots of damage. His teammate's going to mop up. Yes. Wow. Comeback is on. It's still, it's still one frag left and it's the 30 frag march again. You never know, you never know, Vor. Switch from back down to Avic. Obviously the star man of this server. Star man, pretty much any server he's gonna be on. Great rockets there again, the frags. Doesn't take too much damage either, got the red armor out of it on top of that. Demar extinguished from existence. Let's see if he uh, pick up any more frags with only 40 health now. Like it's gonna go that way as XT move in and take back this room. And when you take this room, you just have to be so quick to just block off any kind of entrances so you can really lock it down there. Demaya's gonna yeah, get exactly. this room. You get out to those entry points, and then if the team, you know, the enemy team is looking to come back in, then you're gonna get all the entry damage. And then you can back off into the room if you need, if you're overwhelmed. But they you know, did that it on entry that damage occasion. pretty much, yeah. Really entry damage example. always pretty much. Seals you in and you know, it keeps you safe at the red. Yeah, they did it really well on that occasion. We're getting some nice spawn kills there as well. It seems like they've moved out to this upper yellow on top of that. It just seems like XT have gone a bit more aggressive since they've kind of decided where I saw. Oh, they had no choice, have they? But you know, this kind of aggression is working at the moment. Double power up as well. Yeah. If only they did this earlier in the game, maybe. Yeah, it's just, just going to be just a little bit too much now because, I mean, they've kind of done enough that you would have. If they. If they'd gone into the final minute and done this, and it'd been just a bit closer, you know, it is on the comeback there, but three frags on this quadron as we switch back to Gerpa with that power up. Looking for the frags. Not really going to find any. And we see the first uh, big team eliminated from the ESL Activity Matters Cup series. These are every Tuesday, remember, for the next, well, until the end of the month. We've had the first one last Tuesday, this one today obviously and next couple of weeks and then we do have the finals there is a point system XT will have gained points from the first week and this week Mammoth leading the points table right now of course having won the first week XT won't be that high on it I think they only won one game so far or yeah they might have even just got a default through in that first yeah, actually, that's a point. I'm, I'm not sure did they win a game in the first week I mean, I know they got eliminated by Coma, but I'm not sure what round that was, and once again eliminated by DX in this tournament, so it's not going the way of XT in these recent competitions. Indeed.